Hi, this is the video about Netpeak Spider 3.3 and we got two new integrations for you. It's Google Analytics and Google Search Console. So in this video, I will tell you more about features in this integration and how you can actually use it. So let's move on. To start using this integration, you need to connect your Google account with the Netpeak Spider. To do so, simply go to the settings, Google Analytics and Search Console tab. And here you will see all the saved Google accounts you connect to the Netpeak Spider. And if it's your first time, you will need to add a new Google account. Just click in this button, you will be redirected to like web page where you will need to allow to Netpeak Spider to get all the data from Google services. Right after that, you will have a your account or if you use several of them you will need to do so for each of them then you can switch between different google analytics accounts so different websites different properties and get all the views from them also we get all the goal names from views and full goal names so then when you will get the data you will quickly surf among all of them and not you know like messed up with them then you can configure necessary segment and of, of course if you configure your custom segment in google analytics it will be also shown in netpeak spider then you can use necessary data range we have some you know like uh, preset uh, data ranges like last seven days like thir last uh, 30 days and so on or you can use your custom data range we have one awesome feature here. We develop algorithm that avoid sampling. So if you have already retrieved data from Google Analytics, you probably met this problem that some data is sampled. We developed algorithm that helps you to avoid this problem. And then you can configure the necessary device that you want to analyze traffic, traffic from. Uh, I want to notice that Google Analytics give you the same data for HTTP and HTTPS protocols. So if you, if you have the same URLs but with different protocols, you will see the same number for them for different Google Analytics parameters. And then you can configure Google Search Console settings. For example, you can set the necessary website that you want to get traffic from, necessary data range, necessary devices, countries, and so on. And the interesting feature is query filter. For example, you want to filter all the phrases, so all the impressions, clicks, and so on, for the phrases that are your brand, so branded phrases. All you need to do is using not contains filter and then list them separated by comma, so for example, it will be like bbc.com, comma, bbc, comma, and so on. Uh, after you configure all the settings that you need, you simply click OK, and then use necessary parameters on the sidebar. They all are listed in the sidebar on the right. So uh, also we have, as you can see, a lot of completions of goals. So uh, we have up to 40 parameters of your custom goals so it's like 20 completions of goals and 20 conversion rate conversions rates of goals and seven just static parameters like sessions bounce rate every session durations and so on after your crawling is complete or after your uh, crawling of the list of urls is complete if some of parameters are ticked ticked on uh, Netpeak Spider will retrieve all data from these services just simply as the counted internal linking uh, or page rank calculation works. Then, if you, for example, if you forgot to turn them on after the crawling is finished, you can click on analysis button and then get Google Analytics data. It helps you to, you know, like configure the crawling more like agile. Uh, and of course, we have four uh, common Google, Google Search Console parameters like clicks, impressions, CTR, and average position. You can find them at the end of your table. Of course, as usually, we find common SEO mistakes, and the same as we now have more parameters, we can find more issues 
according to these parameters. For example, for Google Analytics, it's pages that are not compliant pages with traffic or pages with um, like huge bounce rate, or uh, it can be like no, small notice that compliant page that doesn't have any traffic. And by the way, for issue max bounce rate, you can configure the limit for this, for this issue. To do so, you can go to the restrictions tab of the settings and set the amount of, and set the percentage. Uh, when the page reaches this percentage, we will count this, we will count this as an issue. Just here, use the necessary amount of percents and click OK. Then we have three new filters on overview tab. It's pages that get get traffic, pages that get clicks, and pages that have impressions. You can click true or false or true or false to quickly filter all the pages with like more than zero or uh, zero value in these parameters. And of course, we add three new graphics by charts on our dashboard. It's Google Analytics traffic, Google Search Console clicks, and Google Search Console impressions. Whenever you need to quickly filter all the pages from necessary segment, you just you can just click on them, and then and Netflix Spider will make a short group for you. And of course, we also added these three pie charts to the PDF report. So when you export it, you will find three new pie charts here in the traffic section. So what else do we have with the Google Analytics and Google Search Console integrations? As for now, we can import the URLs that gets traffic from Google Analytics to the Netpeak Spider or from Search Console that gets impressions or clicks. Actually, impressions, of course. You can just click on list of URLs and download URLs from Google Analytics or Google Search Console. How it can help you? If you don't want to crawl the, the whole website and wait for a lot of time, you can simply use these functions to get a lot of URLs quickly. Or another case, if you want to find orphan pages, so the pages that uh, don't link with other, that are not linked with other pages with internal linking, it means they are orphan. You can, after the crawling is complete of your website, you can download this you can download URLs from Search Console or Google Analytics, and at the end of the table, you will find the orphan pages. And for example, after you crawl them and they are somewhere in the table, you can quickly find them using filtering with the parameter, parameter of depth. So all you need to do is just set filter, let's clear all other, include depth, click depth, equal to zero. It means that all the pages that are imported to the table from external services, for example, it will be Search Console or Google Analytics, or it can be even a CSV file, tables, or just from your clipboard, will have click depth parameter equal to zero. Okay, so uh, as, as for this update, I hope it's a lot of new stuff for you. Explore it. We have a lot of new a lot of new features. So uh, I'm waiting for your comments, for your likes if you like this release. Uh, hit the subscribe button and I wish you a lot of traffic and a good time. Bye bye.